guys, I saw this film at seven o'clock in the morning on a Tuesday, and I don't think I was fully prepared for what was coming at me. Did you guys have days like that when you turned up on set and you just weren't prepared for what was in store? Yeah, they keep showing it to people at seven a.m. I, <laughs> know, I so think it's, it's very really to, to really see at seven a.m. Hit them. They're trying to scare the press. I think. Time yeah, for that. They really did. Yeah, um, don't have coffee before you see it, I would say, to anyone going to watch it, because first time I saw the preview, I had like a gallon of, I don't know, coffee, and I was just... Like, had the shakes. <laughs> yeah, heart palpitations and all. On set, um... There was know, a day I'm when like... I walked out, and the beach was completely set dressed, or like at least a kilometre of the beach was set dressed. There was 13 to 1,500 extras dressed in soldiers' uniforms, Spitfires flying overhead, they've rebuilt them all, there's warships in the background. And that, that was a moment where I was like, wow, I did not think of this when I thought of filming a film. This is you know, as close to reality as you can come, really, as you can make it on a film set. And newcomers to movies, you have Ken Brenner, Tom Hardy, Killian Murphy, Mark Rylance. Mm -hmm. Is your mind just not like, for like your first film? That's insane. With those people, definitely. I think the entire ensemble of people involved in making this film were incredible at mm. what they do. Um, you don't come onto a, you know, Chris Nolan won't employ someone he doesn't think is right for the job, um, and that comes down to the as low as the like, you know, as unthought about by most people watching the film as the sparks, all the way to the actors. Um, everyone was amazing, and I learned so much from everyone. <coughs> particularly, you know, being around the cast so much, it was impossible not to soak up. They're kind of, I don't know, talent. <laughs> They're amazing. Everyone How about the newcomers then? You guys, there's yeah, I think, a few of you. Uh, I think any time you get to be around people who you're a fan of and mm. are obviously passionate about what they do, it feels like a privilege. So I think being around people like that, like Finn said, kind of cast, crew, and Chris, mm. um, you just try and soak up as, as much as you can and use it as a, a learning experience. Yeah. Big cast of you though, did you have like a WhatsApp group to all keep in touch? I don't have WhatsApp. You know? He doesn't have WhatsApp, oh. no. Yeah, I chat, I chat with a few of the other boys on WhatsApp. <laughs> Sounds like an old man, didn't I? <laughs> I chat with a few of the other boys on WhatsApp. <laughs> I believe it's the WhatsApp. <laughs> WhatsApp's young and hip, not don't know why WhatsApp Harry's not on it. maybe more old man than... But you're so old man by groups. doing that that you're retro and cool, you see. Oh, like I'm bringing it back. Yeah, bringing oh, it back nice. to not be all into right. it. I'm good with that. Nice. I'm gonna go carrier um, pigeons. One of the things <laughs> that Mark Rylance's character says in here is that obviously, like one of the soldiers, Killian Murphy's character, is that he's changed and he might not ever be the same again. Do you think from working on this movie, do you think it's changed you guys in any way? Not um, like it changed the soldiers. I mean, <laughs> I, I hope not. I hope um, it's not traumatized you. You learn something from every job. Yeah. I think. Yeah, I think it'd be difficult to come away from a film like this about what it's about and and how the experience was and not uh, take a little piece of that with you, but mm. obviously not to the extent of, uh, of what it was like. But yeah, I mean, I, I, you know, if you're learning new things, you're obviously kind of gaining experience all the time. And, and yeah, I think you definitely, I, I yeah. personally will take a lot away from this film. I'm curious what, um, what one thing maybe you learned about each other that you didn't know before from working together. He'd never had corned beef with Branston Pickle. Which true. I was absolutely it's true. gobsmacked by. I'd had corned beef. I think I must have, but I mean, we had corned beef in sandwiches growing up, but. I'm so surprised. It's, it's more the way you eat it, just as it is. There's no bread or anything. It was World War Two. Oh, is this what you eat? <laughs> no, I, I went cans and. I think he tried method for a little I went bit. went like I'm not cans really sure. and a knife and. But I wasn't a very good method actor. I went, however many, I think I went with like 20 cans and went home with 23 cans somehow. Yeah. <laughs> took a couple of extra cans on the way. You were like, as soon as I realised there was room service, I was like, well, okay. I like that instead. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't learn anything about Harry? Um, likes corned beef. He likes corned it. beef and pickle, yeah. God. Amazing. Well, I've learned something as well today. There you go. So Every day's a school day. Corn Harry beef. likes corned beef and you had never had it before. Well, I had with had Branston corn Pickle. Pickle. I think I might Branson have even had the combination, just not on their own. There we are. It's been Thank a great so experience, much. guys. Pleasure. Lovely to meet you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Did it for the movie, right? I did. Uh, what was that like? What did you? How did you feel when they told you you were gonna have to cut your hair? Well, when I auditioned for a, a movie that was set in World War II, I imagined I'd probably have to have a little trim. Um, so I was prepared. Um, and uh, yeah, I didn't think about it too much really, it was kind of 
you know, kind of went without saying. Uh, and I was so excited to be involved in the movie. I didn't really think too much on it. Harry, you're kind of new to acting. What made you, what gave you the acting bug? What made you want to do this? Um, I think I just, uh, I was so excited about the this film. I think it's something that I would have been very excited to watch had I not been involved at all. And I'm such a massive fan of Chris's films. Um, and kind of all of that, I just, you know, kind of, kind of felt like uh, He's having flashbacks. something that I really wanted to be involved in, so. Now, do you think you're going to be there? Are you reading more scripts? Are you looking to do more acting? I know you have a big tour coming up. Yeah, um, I think, uh, I don't know really. I think kind of this was like a thing that came about and I haven't really thought so much further ahead. So I, I don't really know. I loved doing this film. So you guys were kind of put through the ringer on this one with the, you were in the water, which I'm sure was freezing, and the oil and all sorts of things. Did you guys have to do some sort of like training or boot camp to prepare? <coughs> yeah, um, I did uh, two weeks. I went out to Dunkirk two weeks early and uh, just trained with the stunt team there for two weeks. Um, very Say two months. Yeah, I should have said two months. Two Trained two for uh, so two short. years. It was two years, yeah. Um, <laughs> no. And just they just put me through my bases basically. So um, kind of as soon as I got up, they were just making me do circuit training and weapons training and boxing and swimming in this ocean in full battle gear, which is not an easy thing to do. Um, and partly because the wool weighs you down, and also I don't know if you found this, but because of the way the boots are shaped and because of how stiff they are, you can't actually kick your feet in the water. Mm -hmm. So you have to kind of move your feet like that rather than you know, like the natural kind of flipper motion. So you just just end up looking ridiculous and not really going anywhere. Um, so I did, a, yeah, I did two weeks of training beforehand. Did you do two weeks? I did not do two weeks. <laughs> no, I think we did. Uh, we did some prep before the film. Yeah, definitely. And, and I think uh, on, on Harry's, uh, to be fair to Harry, I think he was a lot in better shape than I was. I swim with, in wool all the time, so yeah. I was ready to go. I was very scrawny, I think, when I auditioned for the role, and they no. saw. I was. It's alright. Was still you now? Yeah. Guys, I saw this film at seven o'clock in the morning on a Tuesday and I don't think I was fully prepared for what was coming at me. Did you guys have days like that when you turned up on set and you just weren't prepared for what was in store? Yeah. They keep showing it to people at 7am. I, <laughs> I think it's, it's really to, to really see at 7am. Hit them. They're trying to scare They're the breath, I think. Time yeah. For that. They really did. Yeah. Um, don't have coffee before you see it, I would say, to anyone going to watch it because First time I saw the preview, I had like a gallon of, I don't know, coffee. I was just... Had the shakes. <laughs> yeah, heart palpitations and all. On set, um... I there was know, a day I when like... I walked out and the beach was completely set dressed, or like at least a kilometre of the beach was set dressed. There was 13 to 1,500 extras dressed in soldiers' uniforms. Spitfires flying overhead, they've rebuilt them all. There's warships in the background. And that, that was a moment where I was like, wow, I did not think of this when I thought of filming a film. This is, you know, as close to reality as you can come, really, as you can make it on a film set. And newcomers to movies, you have Ken Brenner, Tom Hardy, Killian Murphy, Mark Rylance. Mm -hmm. Is your mind just not like, for like your first film? That's insane. With those people, definitely. I think the entire ensemble of people involved in making this film are incredible at mm. what they do. Um, you don't come onto a, you know, Chris Nolan won't employ someone he doesn't think is right for the job, um, and that comes down to the as low as the like you know, as unthought about by most people watching the film as the sparks, all the way to the actors. Um, everyone was amazing, and I learned so much from everyone. Particularly <coughs> you know, being around the cast so much, it was impossible not to soak up their kind of I don't know <laughs> talent. They're amazing. How Everyone's about the newcomers amazing. then? You guys, there's yeah, I think few of you. Uh, I think any time you get to be around people who you're a fan of and mm. are obviously passionate about what they do, it feels like a privilege. So I think being around people like that, like Finn said, kind of cast, crew, and Chris, mm. um, you just try and soak up as as much as you can and use it as a, a learning experience. Yeah. Big cast of you though. Did you have like a WhatsApp group to all keep in touch? I don't have WhatsApp. Do you he not? doesn't have WhatsApp. Oh. No. Yeah, I chat. I chat with a few of the other boys on WhatsApp. <laughs> I was like an old man, didn't I? I chat with a few of the other boys on WhatsApp. <laughs> I believe it's the WhatsApp. WhatsApp's young and hip. Not Don't know why WhatsApp Harry's not on it. Maybe more old man than. But you're so old man by groups. doing that that you're retro and cool. 
you see. Oh, like I'm bringing it back. Yeah, bringing oh, it back nice. to not be right. into it. Enjoy with that. Nice. I'm going to go carrier um, pigeons. One of the things <laughs> that Mark Rylance's character says in here is that obviously like one of the soldiers, Killian Murphy's character, is that he's changed and he might not ever be the same again. Do you think from working on this movie, do you think it's changed you guys in any way? Not um, like it changed the soldiers. I mean, <laughs> I, I hope not. I hope um, it's not traumatised you. You learn something from every job, Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think it'd be difficult to come away from a film like this about what it's about and, and how the experience was and not uh, take a little piece of that with you, but mm. obviously not to the extent of, uh, of what it was like. But yeah, I mean, I, I, you know, if you're learning new things, you're obviously kind of gaining experience all the time. And, and yeah, I think you definitely, I, I yeah. personally will take a lot away from this film. I'm curious what, um what one thing maybe you learnt about each other that you didn't know before from working together? He'd never had corned beef with Branston Pickle. It's which true, I was yeah. absolutely it's true. gobsmacked by. I'd had corned beef. I think I must have, but I mean, we had corned beef in sandwiches growing up, but. <laughs> You're so surprised. It's, it's more the way you eat it, just as it is. There's no bread or anything. It was World War II. It, oh, is this what you eat? <laughs> no, I, I went cans and. I think he tried method for a little I bit. I went like really cans sure. and a knife and. But I wasn't a very good method actor. I went however many, I think I went with like 20 cans and went home with 23 cans somehow. Yeah. Picked up a couple of extra cans on the way. You were like, as soon as I realised there was room service, I was like, well, okay. I'll have and that instead. <laughs> you didn't learn anything about Harry? Um, it's corned beef. She likes corned beef and pickle, yeah. <laughs> oh, Amazing. Well, I've learned something as well today. There you go. So Every day's a school day. Corn Harry beef. likes corned beef. Alex in the film. Apparently so, yeah. yeah. I don't know he yeah. had a name, but I now he know. Did. Alex, congratulations. Thank you. Um, you're really good in this. And Thank the film you. is incredible. The film is incredible, I yeah. think. Yeah. What was your emotion and your ex sort of experience when you watched it for the first um, time? I think watching it, 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 it is so emotional. It, it's kind of the opposite side of war that I don't think most films set in war time is. It's, uh, it's so human and you're kind of you know, drawn into these characters and obviously going along with them. I think the way that Chris films, you feel like you're running alongside them and you feel like you're swimming with them. Uh, and I think that's, it's incredible. It makes it this incredibly like visceral experience to watch. Your first film? Yeah. What was your expectation going in and what was the reality? Um, I don't know really. Um, I'm such a massive fan of Chris. I think I was just excited to kind of be part of this and I think I was excited to watch it before uh, before I was involved in it, really. So, uh, yeah, I, I feel very privileged to have got to work with such an amazing group of actors and such an amazing crew, and obviously Chris. Uh, yeah, I, I feel very spoilt. I may have peaked too soon. <laughs> I was going to ask, what do you think you've learned from it in terms of being an actor? Um, I don't know. It's hard to be around people that you're such a fan of and not just want to soak up everything Tell all these people right? here, mate. See? Yeah, it's... Uh, <laughs> I've learned, I, I enjoyed it very much. I, I really loved it. It was, it was a good time. And um, I think it's really important to tell the story as well. So yeah. It's, uh, yeah, I feel very lucky. Well, it's about these young men who, they just want to get home and they'll kind of go through anything to, to get home. And that camaraderie between these young men on screen was kind of mimicked on set from what I hear with you guys. There was a great atmosphere and a great kind of chemistry between you all. You're laughing. I'm hoping that's the truth. No, it is. Yeah, I think, you know, I think we all, we all knew what the focus was and that was to make this, this film as good as it could be. I think Chris was always going to make an amazing film and that just meant that we had to do our parts. And, uh, and the focus was obviously telling this story in the best way that we could. So for us, you know, there wasn't too much... Uh, there wasn't too much like focus on us. It was very much we all wanted to tell the story, and and any difficult times is obviously going to kind of bring you together. Yeah, quite well. There's quite a lot physically demanded of you all, you know, in the sea yeah. and trying to stay swimming afloat. Swimming loads. <laughs> yeah. yeah. How was your swimming? How is your swimming? I'm better at swimming than I was when I started <laughs> the film, for sure. Um, I feel so free now, and I'm just in my trunks and not <laughs> not the wall life vest. But uh, yeah, I mean, as difficult as it would ever get, we were obviously so aware that it was nothing in yeah. comparison to obviously what they would have been through. So it, it was difficult to ever kind of focus on yeah. any personal discomfort. <laughs> yeah. You were kind of clipped get around the ear if you were ever <laughs> yeah. complaining. So. But he's he's so um, authenticity is really important to him. So 
you know, whereas a, a lot of people would have just kind of get in the tank and we'll blue screen it behind you. It's not about that for him. It's about you being there and being in it and being... Yeah, I, I think he, uh, he creates the physical world around you. So, so as much as you could possibly be in that situation, I think Chris gets you as close as you could ever be. And, and I think being around someone so passionate about what they do, who obviously knows so much about it. I think my first down set... He told me that my laces were tied wrong and, and they would have tied them differently. And I think wow. when you're around someone who's so passionate, it, it's so infectious and obviously incredibly inspiring. So he's kind of like the conductor who also knows how to play every single instrument. So yeah. it, it's very easy to trust him when you're on set with him. What was that first day like? Can you remember? My first day was maybe the worst weather day that we had <laughs> on the whole shoot. So, uh, yeah, at the end of the first day, I was very much like, what am I doing? <laughs> I think I want to go back to the studio. But, yeah, no, I feel very lucky to have been a part of it, yeah. And more? I may be one and done. Oh, shit. I'd do this again. You can't I'd do this say one that. Again. I, I really enjoyed this. I'd do this one again. Come on, there's got to be... Know. I've Come peaked on. too soon. I there's nowhere to go. There's, there's, well, there, no, there's plenty of places to go, because this, you know, we... It's, it, there's not... It's an ensemble cast, you Absolutely, know, it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's all these pieces to the puzzle. So there's more for you to do if you want to do it. Do you want to do more? I haven't really thought about it, to be honest. <laughs> really? I mean, I love this. <laughs> I really love this. Uh, and uh, I feel very lucky to have got to work with everyone that was on this. So I hope people enjoy it. Be well. And, uh, and I enjoyed it. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> Um, would you like to say anything to all these lovely fans who are here for you? But also, there's a lot of people watching all around the world, if there's anything you yeah, want. Yeah, uh, a massive thank you for coming out and supporting the film. Uh, you're all wonderful. We love you very much. We hope you enjoy it. We, uh, we think it's a really special film, and we hope that you love it as much as we love it. So thank you so much. See you soon. Wonderful Harry Styles, everybody. É o luxo de dispensar os cuidados com a aparência. Não é maquiagem. Não faço maquiagem. I know. Oh. <laughs> Told you. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure it is necessary. From Potato Directioner on Twitter, uh, they want to know why did you audition for Dunkirk? How about anyone else? It's Harry and Finn's fault. Sorry. Come on, guys. Uh, Always. Alright, and... <laughs> here we go. Alright, Kevin McCarthy. I don't know. Um, it's a very on-the-spot question. It's so deep. <laughs> she really she went deep there um, with that question, yeah. I don't know really. Her name I, is Skylar, I, by the way. I she... um... you know a little bit about Do you have any advice for Finn? <laughs> Finn's amazing. He's amazing in the film and a wonderful man. I don't Stop. think that'll change. I think he's, he's, he's great. That's actually the nicest thing you've ever said to me. Though. That is not That really true. got to me. That was, wow. that was so nice. The first thing I'm going to do when I become famous. Um, Buy a big house in Beverly Hills. No. This question's <laughs> amazing. Uh, Good. <laughs> I don't know. Probably, probably do some laundry or uh, laundry. Go and buy some. Go and buy some shopping. I don't think I'd do anything too extravagant, to be honest. Um. I mean, I, I don't know really. I don't. I don't know. I've, I. Uh, don't know. I don't really think about it too much. He do some shopping. I as just well, kind of, you know, yeah. you just live. You know. Just live. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't know really. I don't think, uh, yeah. Um, so I think being involved in it, I, I just feel very lucky to have been able to work with such an amazing group of actors, uh, an amazing crew, one of the best crews I've ever worked with, and obviously Chris is, is amazing. So it's been uh, it's been a lot of fun. I feel very fortunate. I think he's just. Uh, you know, Any time you get to work with someone who's, who's so passionate about what they do, and it, that that's a privilege in itself. And I think Chris is. He just, he's, he knows everything about the project, so he, he's kind of the conductor, but he also knows how to play every instrument as well, so it's, uh, it's pretty inspiring to be, be around him and, and get to watch him work. You know, it, it, it's very much about, uh, it, it's just a basic kind of human instinct survival story. I, I don't think you can, you can kind of classify it as a war film, really. It's, it's an emotional story, it happens to be set within a, an incredibly important piece of British history, which I think you know, just aids it in, in kind of how uh, how amazing the films ended up. I watched it in a, in a for the first time in a you know in a cinema full of people, and, and it feels like you're watching it on your own. I, th I think it's an incredibly personal, emotional experience watching this film. Uh, it kind of surrounds you in a way, um, and 
I think if you know, it, it, there's so much suspense, and, and it's an amazing story within, like I said, such an incredible piece of history. It, it's kind of got every ingredient of 